Hey everybody, this is Mind Body Connection with a book summary of a great book called Never Eat Alone by Keith Ferrazzi. Keith grew up poor in a place called Youngstown, Pennsylvania. Growing up poor really fueled him and it pushed him forward. When he was young, he was the caddy at a high-end golf course that mostly had wealthy members. The one major lesson he received from this job was that successful people often help each other and when you help others, they in turn help you. Keith applied this principle and he went on to have a successful career in business and he eventually became a CEO of a large corporation. The one main idea in this book that he shares with us is the idea of networking. He said networking was the one thing which drove him to be a success in life and business. Often in our culture, networking has a poor reputation. For example, some people think networking is when you lose your job, so you reach out to people around you, your network, and ask them to help you find a new job. But Keith's approach to networking is the exact opposite of this. To him, networking is putting other people's interests ahead of your own, always thinking about giving more than you ever ask in return. When you do this, people will naturally want to reach out and help you as well. The main goal is to provide ever-increasing value to others. It's been shown that 80% of success in life depends on your relationships and people skills. Only 20% is your technical knowledge or what you've learned. To understand the idea of networking, think about someone who works in sales and they work on a commission basis. You can't come from a place of, I desperately need to make this sale so I can get this commission. You must come from a place of understanding what the other person needs, what problem it is that they have that you can help them solve. You think about all the ways you can help solve their problems and make their lives easier. Too often we hear the media use terms such as, he's a self-made man. But George Burton Adams, a historian at Yale who studied hundreds of lives said it best, there is no such thing as a self-made man. We are made up of thousands of others. Everyone who has ever done a kind deed for us, spoken a word of encouragement to us, has entered into the makeup of our character, thoughts, and successes. If you like this idea of giving more and putting others' interests ahead of your own, I would also recommend these two great books, The Go-Giver and The Fred Factor. I put links to both of those book summaries below. Thanks for listening, and if you'd like to hear more book summaries and some of the best self-development books ever written, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again.